Hey friends, this is Kruti Jai Panjoli, Assistant Professor in LG Institute of Engineering and Technology in Department of Electronics and Communication. This video is about subject Fiber Optic Communication. So friends, we started discussion regarding the photo detector. So, we have also learned what is the characteristics of the photo detectors. So, we have also solved the example related to the photo detectors. So, now in this video, we will learn about few more things related to the photo detectors. As we know what is the photo detector, so photo detector that will be used at the receiving end. Okay. And at the receiving end, whatever the light information is there, so we are going to convert the light information into the form of the electrical signal or form in the current form. Okay. So that way, the requirement of the photo detector, principle of photo detection, photodiode, pin photodiode, and the avalanche photodiode. So these all are the topics for this particular video. Now the question is, what is the requirement, what are the requirements of the photo detector? So firstly, the detector requirements that are the highly sense, high sensitivity at operating wavelength, high quantum efficiency, high fidelity, high reliability, compact in size, least response time, stable performance, lowest noise and the low bias voltage. These all are the requirements for the photo detector. So while the photo detector should be implemented in any optical system, then we should be take care of all these the requirements or you can say that these all are the necessity by, by using the photo detector. So we should not operate on to the high bias voltage. It should provide us the stable performance. The noise produced by the photo detector itself that should be lesser so that the no noise that will be accumulated with the signal. It should be also the compact in size, the highly reliable, the quantum efficiency that is again very high. So this requirement when it is fulfilled, it could be considered as the good photo detector. So what is the principle of the photo detection? So photo detection, okay, the principle that is based on the two type of photoelectric effect which areas as follows that are the external photoelectric effect and the internal photoelectric effect. So external photoelectric and the internal photoelectric these are the two effect. Now we will first of all discuss what is the external photoelectric effect. In the external photoelectric effect, electron that becomes free from the metal surface by the energy absorption obtained by streams of the incident photon. The photomultiplier tube and the vacuum photodiode, they are the implications of the external photoelectric effect. What is the internal photoelectric effect? So free charge carriers are generated by the absorption of incident photons in the semiconductor junction detector. Pin photodiode, PN junction photodiode and the avalanche photodiode. So important detector properties are responsivity, spectral response and the rise time. Now, what are the mode of the operation of this photo detector? There are normally the two modes of operation. Those are 
the photoconductive and the photovoltaic what is the photoconductive now it works on the reverse bias the photo detectors are operated in a photo conductive mode so here in the diagram that it is the the sufficient the reverse bias voltage that is uh, applied okay and this way the uh, photo conductive that that optical detectors that can be used okay and the photo volatile the photo volatile that are the zero bias mean the solar cells now solar cells that does not require any bias when the sunlight that falls onto the cell it will generate the electricity by electric current so they are known as the photovoltaic effect and these solar cells they are based on in the photovoltaic mode so here there is no uh, supply is given only the light fold falls onto the photo detector and on the multimeter we can have some output so this way the two modes of the operations are there the photo diode implicated in the electrical energy generation are optimized to have a high efficiency of energy conversion the photo diodes used as a photo detectors are optimized to have a fast response time now types of the photo detector now in the pn junction photo diode pn photo diode and avalanche photo diode so these are the three types of the photo detectors are there very first we will see the photo diode the meaning of the photo means light and the diode that is the device which will the pertaining of the two electrodes so what is a photo diode it is a light sensitive electronic device which is capable of converting the light into the voltage or the current signal so that is known as the photo diode it works on the principle of photo generation here in the diagram you can see the anode and the cathode is there and the light that falls on it this is the kind of the photo diode that is you can see in the diagram so in order to convert the modulated light back to the electrical signal photo diode or the photo detectors that can be used as the intensity of the optical signal at the receiver is very low the detector has to meet high performance specifications and the conversion efficiency must be high at the operating wavelength now the speed of the response that must be high enough to ensure that the signal distortion that does not occur and the detection process in introduces the minimum amount of the noise okay it must be uh, possible to operate continuously over a wide range of the temperatures for the many years and the detector size that must be compatible with the fiber dimensions at present these requirements are met by the reverse bias pn photo diode in this device the semiconductor material absorbs a photon of a light which excites an electron from the valence band to the conduction band which is the opposite of the photon band so the photon generated electron leaves behind it a hole and so each photon generate two charge carriers and the increase the material conductivity so photo conductivity that resulting okay in an increase in the diode current so the diode equation which can be modified as the i diode it is is equal to id plus is e raised to v upon vq upon eta kt minus 1 where the id that is the dark current okay and is that is the photo 
generated current okay due to the incident optical signal now here the figure shows the plot of the equation for varying amount of the incident optical power so in the diagram you can see that the voltage and the current characteristics okay for the various particular values so this is the characteristics so three regions can be seen forward bias reverse bias and the avalanche breakdown in the characteristics now we will discuss about one by one what is the forward bias region a change in the incident power that causes the change in the terminal voltage which is known as the photovoltaic mode so if the diode is operated in this mode the frequency response of the diode that is poor so the photovoltaic operation that is rarely used in the optical link now the second reverse bias region 2 a change in the optical power produces a proportional change in the diode current it is called as the photoconductive mode of the operation which the most detectors can use under this conditions the exponential term in the equation becomes insignificant and the reverse bias current that is given by the i diode is equal to i e plus i s so responsivity of the photo diode that is defined as the change in the reverse bias current per unit change in optical power and so if efficient detectors need a large responsivity next is avalanche breakdown region 3 now when the bias in this region a photo generated electron hole pair which causes the avalanche breakdown this results in the large diode for a single incident photon so avalanche photo diode which operate in this region and which exhibits the carrier multiplication okay they are also very sensitive uh, detectors okay and the vi characteristics is very stiff in this region so the bias voltage that must be tightly controlled to prevent the spontaneous the breakdown so it is about the photo diode now the next is the pin photo diode what is the pin photo diode here in the diagram you can see that the pin photo diode that which consists of the p layer okay then there is a intrinsic layer in between p and n junction okay the large reverse bias voltage is applied the load rl is connected output that is the v0 okay and the hv the photon okay that can be the uh, given to this so it consists of the intrinsic semiconductor sandwiched between the two heavily doped p type and the n type semiconductor as we have seen in the diagram now the reverse bias voltage that is applied so as to keep the intrinsic region free from the carriers so its resistance is high and most of the diode voltage appear across it and electrical forces are strong within it now the incident photon gives up their energy and excite an electron from the valence to the conduction band and the free electron hole pair is generated and these are the photo carriers these carriers which are collected across the reverse bias junction which results in the rise in the current in external circuit which is known as the photo current now in the absence of the light the pin photo diode we have electrically just like the ordinary rectifier diode so if the forward bias they conduct the large amount of the current and the pin diode the pin detectors that can be operated in a two mode one is the photovoltaic and one another is the photoconductive we have also learn about what is a photovoltaic and photoconductive so they can be operated in a two particular medium so in the photovoltaic mode no bias is applied to the detector 
So now in this particular case, the detector which works very slow and output is approximately logarithmic to the input light level. So real world fiber optic receivers never use the photovoltaic mode. Now in the photoconductive mode, the detector that is the reverse bias. So output in this case is a current that is very linear with the input light power. So intrinsic region somewhat improves the sensitivity of the device. It does not provide internal gain. And the combination of the different semiconductors operating at different wavelength allows the selection of the material capable of the responding to the desired optical wavelength. Now the characteristics of the common uh, uh, pin photodiodes. Now the characteristics of the common pin, pin photodiodes that are given the parameter, symbol, unit, then the material SI, GE and INGA, AS. Okay. The first that is the wavelength. It is denoted by the lambda unit is a micrometer for the silicon. This values is the 0.4 okay, and 1.21 uh, for the germanium 0.8 to 1.8 and for the this uh, the indium GAAS it is the 1.0 to 1.7. Second is the responsivity denoted by the R and unit, unit is the MP upper board. This value for the silicon it is the 0.4 to 0.6, 0.5 to 0.7 for the GE and 0.6 to 0.9 for the INGA. AS. Quantum efficiency it is denoted by the eta okay and uh, the unit that is the percentage we can write and this value for the silicon it is the 75 to 90 percentage for the germanium it is the 50 to 55 percentage and for the INGAS it is the 60 to 70. So similarly the dark current, rise time, bandwidth, the bias voltage Okay, the values which are given in the table. Okay, so these all are the characteristics of the common PN photo diode. So now the depletion layer photo current. Now consider the reverse bias pin diode. So now here the reverse bias, the negative voltage, okay, the incident photon onto the P particular layer, and you can see that the Depletion layer is there between the P and N, okay, and uh, there is a, the, the W that is the width of this. So you can see that how the depletion, uh, the region, okay, that size that is the layer that is the increase. So the total current density through the uh, depletion layer, it is denoted by the J total is equal to J dr plus J dr. So what is the JDR? It's a drift current density due to the carriers generated in a depletion region. And the J difference that is the diffusion current density due to the carriers generated outside the depletion region. Okay, so it is uh, the equation of uh, this and the drift current density which is expressed as the JDR is equal to IP upon A. So, JDR is equal to Q into phi 0 in bracket 1 minus E raised to minus alpha S into W. Where A is the photodiode area and phi 0 that is the incident photon flux per unit area. So, the diffusion current density which is expressed as the JDF is equal to Q phi 0 alpha S okay LP upon 1 plus alpha S LP. E raised to minus alpha S into W plus Q P N 0 dP upon LP. Where dP that is the whole diffusion coefficient, P N is the whole concentration in N type of material and P N 0 that is the equilibrium, the whole density. So this is the value, okay. Now the JDF value in the previous equation if we will put, then the answer we will get for this J total is equal to the Q uh, phi 0 in bracket 1 minus alpha S into W upon 1 plus alpha S into LP plus Q P N 0 DP into LP.
Now the response time. What is the response time? So factors that determine the response time of a photodiode that are the transit time of a photocarriers within the depletion region, diffusion time of the photocarriers outside the depletion region and the RC time constant of the diode and the external circuit. So these three values okay, on the response time that depend. So transit time that is denoted by T. It is equal to the W upon V. Okay. So this is the equation for solving the response time. So the diffusion process that is very slow and this times that are less than the carrier drift time. So by considering the photodiode response time, the effect of the diffusion that can be calculated. So figure shows the response time of a photodiode which is not fully depleted. So here you can see that the response time of the photo detector that looks like this okay and while it reaches to the maximum output okay it gives the output that's a very slow okay so this is the response time characteristics so the detector that behaves as a simple low pass rc filter having the pass band of capital n is equal to 1 upon 2 pi r r into ct so where RR that is a combination of the input resistance of a load and the amplifier CT that is the sum of the photodiode and the amplifier capacitors. Now we will solve the example that is compute the bandwidth of the photo detector having a parameters as a photodiode capacitance value is a 3 picofarad amplifier capacitance is the 4 picofarad Load resistance, it's a 50 ohm. Amplifier input resistance, it's a 1 mega ohm. So now, we will solve the example. So now, sum of the photodiode and the amplifier capacitance CT. So it is the 3 plus 4 is the 7 picofarad. So now, combination of the resistance and the resistance and the amplifier and input resistance RT. It is equal to the combination, so it is a 50 ohm parallel 1 mega ohm. So answer is 50 ohm. So now we are going to find out the bandwidth of the photo detector. So it is the P is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RR into G. So by putting that value inside the equation, we can find out the value of the P. It is the 454.95 megahertz. So this is about the pin photodiode. Now, the next and the last, it is the avalanche photo detector, APD diode. So, now here you can see the diagram of the avalanche photo diode, okay. Here the P plus and the P junction is there and the N plus region. So, P plus, N plus, okay, and the pi and the P region is there, okay, the due to the avalanche breakdown, okay, this will work. So, a major disadvantage of the PN and the PN diode that is that each photon generates only one pair of the electron hole and there is no internal gain. So, amplifying the output current after the detector stage, this introduces a significant noise. So, one of the way to deal with this problem that is to design the detector with the internal gain and uh, the, the, the other is to amplify the optical signal itself. So that is the main motor of the APD. So APD that is the device with the internal gain which could be high as the 100. And SI APD they have the sensitive in the range 400 to 110 nanometer. While the GE APDs have their spectral sensitivities in 800 to 1550 nanometer. So INGA AS and the INP APDs provide the better sensitivity and the spectral response. Okay, so these APDs are essentially the PN photodiodes operated under the reverse bias near the breakdown voltage. So configuration consists of the N plus layer followed by the sequence one is the first thin P layer. Then the intrinsic layer that is lightly docked with the P layer and heavily docked P layer. 
so this electric field distribution that is the shown in the figure so the field strength is the maximum at the n plus p particular junction so it is about the photo detectors we have learned the requirements uh, of the photo detectors okay what are the requirements we have also learned about the photo diode we learn about the pin photo diode we learn about the avalanche photo diode so this is related to the photo detectors so thank you very much everyone